There we go. Thank you. Welcome to the KDR Television, Mr. Alex Inyagwa from Boston, uh, mm -hmm. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to have you at our TV studios. So we, re we highly recognize uh, your time. We highly recognize your presence. So uh, as a leader of the Aweingo group from uh, Western Kenya, but living in the diaspora, what do you have for us today? And uh, you will start with your introduction. Then you will tell us you will tell us a little bit more about the Abaingo group uh, from uh, in the diaspora. Thank you very much, Mr. Alec Nyagwa. Welcome. Thank you, sir, Mr. Ben. Yes. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here in Minnesota, and uh, I've received a warm welcome. I came here to visit you as a friend, just not as a friend, but also a media man to express my feelings. Uh, Haveingo is a group that was founded in Boston. It is all about social welfare and networking for the people of Western Kenya. Veingo means people from home. Home means people of Western Kenya. And we started the group to initiate network for the people living in diaspora and specifically a New England chapter. Thank you very much. So was this group formed um, a few days ago, a few years ago? I mean, how, how, did, it, how did the group start? Well, the group has always been there. The group has been existing for the last three years. But now, you know, with the new technology has come in, <coughs> we formed something that we call uh, WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is where we connect, we get a number, we post our information, if there is an issue going in the society, especially in the Veingo or Mulembe group, we pass it out, we talk about it, and we share about it, and we find a solution, and we are able to be there socially for each other. Thank you very much. Um, I believe a Veingo should be having some political uh, aspirations, some economic aspirations, mm -hmm. and social aspirations. <laughs> and uh, I see you are laughing. And uh, a person from Western Kenya, right <laughs> now, we are having a lot of things actually happening in Western Kenya. Ababu Namwamba wants to form a party, uh, blah, blah. There are so many people back there having lots of discussions about, especially what Ababu Namwamba is doing. Mm -hmm. What is your view uh, concerning Ababu, Ababu's move? Well, um, socially, I'll tell you, the Bayingo are strong people, socially, they've been sharing a lot of things commonly uh, in existence, although you know the ethnicity that we have in Western Kenya, people from Busia, Bungoma, Kakamega, Vihiga, Lugari, anywhere, even Mumia, as you think of, we are comprised of little ethnicity, but socially we are so strong, we share, we intermarry, food, culture, we share all this. Politically, I may say uh, we are a little bit weak because of ethnic backgrounds that we have. We have different interests and people are serving different interests from the regions they are coming from. Uh, we are a little bit weak uh, for we can't unite on one common ground. Democratically, you know very well, we live and we share uh, different opinions when it comes to parties and when it comes to politically how we need to govern ourselves. And economically still we are a little bit weak. We have let our industries fall down. We have let, especially like Mumias, we have let like um, uh, Webuye, this, this um, uh, economic, economical status in us in our region are falling down. Thank you very much. Uh, now touch a little bit about Amabu, Ababu Namwamba's uh, move. How do you perceive it? I mean, how are the Abengo, especially the Abengo group, I mean, um, viewing this, uh, um, 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 let me say, uh, I'm not really, I don't really want you to specify uh, uh, one, two, three, but how, are, how are, are the Abengo people perceiving this um, uh, uh, um, uh, scenario right now? Well, we have received it with a mixed reaction. One, I would like to set it this way. I don't know what Namaba was thinking when he did what he did. You cannot uh, change a game, or in the middle of game, you can change and cross over to another uh, team and you pretend that you're going to play in a, with the opponent. Look at it this way. 
we have different issues and you have different issues and thinking what made you think and cross over in the middle of the game you cannot run away from problems we all have problems we all have issues we have political issues we have economical issues but namamba i think where you were with the rahila was better for you than anybody else and it is a shame for the people of bodalangi it is a shame for the people of western kenya you can't there are a lot of questions that are there to be asked for your actions that you took remember when mudavadi crossed over you said mudavadi is a baby in a diapers what can we express about you you can judge yourself you can think about yourself and you can say something about yourself thank you thank you very much so uh, people have received it with mixed reactions and you have given your input now let's talk about the achievements especially i mean he was complaining that raila mulodinga has not really done anything to the western people do you have some um, tangible evidence because those are some of the things which ababu was complaining do you have any tangible evidence that really the western people uh, uh, achieved or gained from raila's uh, grip in power especially when he was a, a, a minister for roads then a, a prime minister go ahead as i said in the beginning you cannot run away from problems to solve problems you stick with the man you have been with it to solve problems whether you are in government or you are not in government, remember there are always government funded projects. So it is you as an Ababu Namwamba to oversee the projects that were instituted by the government. Whether you are in it, whether you are not in it, they are all money allocated to different areas. Whether you are in a county, whether you are a member of parliament, we have DCF funds that are able to sponsor some projects in your area. Somebody from, somebody from Nyanza cannot sponsor your projects in your area in Budalangi. Somebody from Coast cannot come and sponsor projects in your area in Budalangi. It is your full responsibility as an MP or as a member to see, oversee that the funds that the government is distributing to your area are fully implemented to projects like health ways, education, roads, and small industries that can help people get employment. But if your area people are not employed and you're blaming Mr. Omolo Adinga, then it's your own full responsibility. Omolo Adinga cannot come to your area and find projects while you are in the government and you're getting funded projects to your area. Thank you very much. Uh, in, in a brief, um, when Omolo Adinga was in Budalangi and some parts of Western, he said that he initiated projects when he was the prime minister or when he was a, a minister of roads. And some people from Western surely say that these roads are there, they are, some of them have been built. Can you give your input or your insight about that? History can judge itself. We know very well that when Amolo Odinga, then then uh, prime minister, the former prime minister, I think he appointed a lot of people in the government and even, even the deputy vice president by then, that was uh, Mosalia Mudabadi was serving under Rahila Odinga. There are a lot of activities that have gone and even ministers that were appointed during that time. And a lot of people were appointed into different sectors of the government. So right now you can turn around and say that there's nothing that Mr. Rahila Odinga did for Western Kenya. And then that's a political uh, suicide that you people, especially politicians, it's not about the common Mwanainji. Komoni Mwanainji is being sold out, Komoni Mwanainji is being lied to, then Komoni Mwanainji is being lied to everything that you politicians are saying. It is up to your responsibility as leaders to come and present and tell us exactly what you are doing. We send you in parliament to represent us. Thank you. Then briefly, can you a little bit touch about um, the MPs who are, who are really running from, uh, from the opposition going to the government. I mean, when they go to the government, are, we go, are they going to receive development? I mean, they have been in the government for so many years. So, I mean, is there anything new? Maybe they are going to get in the government. You know, I, don't, I don't really understand. So, uh, when they tell you, because they're, they're, they're your leaders, how are they explaining that when they go to the government, then things are, are going to come? I mean, uh, they, we, they'll receive development. If you're a failure, you're a failure. If you are in opposition and you want to do some uh, projects, you'll do projects. If you are in government, you'll do projects. So if you crisscross from 
one point to another point and uh, yet a failure, you'll always remain a failure. Why do I say so? If you fail to initiate projects through DCF, which the government provides, then how are you going to initiate the same projects in the government and you failed to initiate the same projects when you're in opposition? The government does not discriminate. The government sends bursaries, funds to each and every county and each and every district. So if you are lying to your own people who elected you in your party, then it means that you are li you're not just lying to your people, but you are lying to yourself. And I urge and encourage all the Western people to re-elect these people out and send them out and re-elect new members to the new parliament, be it the councillors, be it even governors and members of parliament. If you have not performed, be judged to your deeds. Thank you very much. So is ODM dead in Western Kenya? Uh, ODM is not a party to underwrite in Western Kenya. It still has a lot of followers in Western Kenya. Remember very well that even with the ANC in Western, ODM got a lot of uh, votes in Western Kenya. So if one member or two members are being bought as an allegation, you are crossing over to the government so that you can bring development, and then I think you are fooling yourself. At ODM still a strong party in Western Kenya, despite the fact we have the ANC there, but ODM still has the largest followers in Western Kenya. And I urge all members, vote with your consciousness. Look at your MPs and see what they have done. Whether they are initiating projects or they are just lying to you because for self-interest. Thank you very much. Another thing you are, I, I need you to briefly speak. You've talked about net, a network in, in a Bingo group, or not only in the United States, but in other areas throughout the diaspora. Mm. So tell us, I mean, do you have a really a good network where you can reach your people and then you can discuss issues and uh, uh, come forward as a Bingo team? And then you'll, you'll shake the government or you'll shake the opposition. And then your views will be a, a, a determinant uh, factor in the next election. Go ahead. Um, you can mention even a few, a few of you, <laughs> your friends. I mean, you're working. Uh, you are, I'll you're tell the chairman. this. Change begins at home. Mm -hmm. And the best way to change is to come on when Inji who is voting back in the village there. Do not be bought by only one kilo or majani, or sukari, or uh, big projects that you are being promised and they are not being fulfilled. I encourage all the people in diaspora, whether in Europe, in America, Australia, everywhere, please send a message to your people in the local areas, as Abeyingo, as Mulembe Group. Tell them to change and look at the, look at what people are doing, the actions. Do not judge people because, or criticize people, but look at their actions and vote them in through their actions. Okay, I ask you briefly about, you have not answered. I mean, do you have like a network, uh, even in the US, for the availing or whereby you can definitely um, um, change the, 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 the tide in Western Kenya towards the opposition or the, or, or, or the government? Yes. Think? As I said, we have the Wengo, mm -hmm. and we communicate, mm -hmm. we charter issues mm -hmm. politically, mm -hmm. economically, and socially. Mm -hmm. I encourage all the Wengos in Boston, especially the people I have there on the chat, we encourage each other, share the ideas how we're going to shake the people in Western Kenya to elect the leaders who can serve them, not to serve their only personal interest. I encourage everyone in Boston, in UK and everywhere to send a message to the people who wants to serve in the government to make sure that they're electing people who can serve their interest but not people who can serve their own personal interests. Another question we also want. You know, when Ababu, Ababu said that um, uh, the Mulembe people have said, so I mean, I mean were you guys contacted? Uh, do you have... Um, any networking with Ababu? Maybe he told you guys and you are, you are running away from that one. So uh, do, they do they really listen to your suggestions from the diaspora? Because you are a big team. You know, 
Ababu Namwamba was a rising star and should be aware of this as a lawyer, an educated lawyer. And I feel sorry for him. If his uh, professor was there to see what he did, I think he'll be regretting, why did I even pass him in the class? Why do I say so? You can't change in the middle of the game the way you did it. You have to wait until the league is over, and then you can cross over. Do, who did you consult? Did you consult the people of Budalangi? And if you consulted the people of Budalangi, then you consulted them through the media. The media does not solve everything. What you have to realize, you have the people that were elected with you on the grassroots. And if the Molo Adinga was there the other day and the people were encouraging they are not with you, and then you must be speaking from somewhere else or you are encouraging yourself because you think that you are a rising star. And then I think your professor will be regretting to see that uh, you passed the exam but then you failed to exercise exactly what you were taught to exercise as a lawyer. As a lawyer, you don't cross over in the middle of the game. Even if you are in court and you're handling a case, you do not let your client down by saying, I can't finish and we cannot win this case. If you realize that you, know, you cannot win in ODM, then how are you going to handle a client who has a case and presented it to you? How are you going to win that case in court? then you have failed the people of Mulembe, you have failed your people of Budalangi, and you have failed yourself, and it's a big shame to you. Thank you. What's your closing uh, remarks now? We, we, we are finishing the interview. Yes. What is your closing shot? My closing argument is that to the Mulembe people, be weary for those people who come and ask for votes, and then they get lost in Nairobi. Be concerned and ask yourself, why are you voting? Do not be bought, and I encourage people who are in Massachusetts, like Elisasa, Mr. Ambenge, Mr. Endege, George Kahi, Patrick, and the rest who are there. Please, I encourage you, I'll bring this guy to Mulembe, to Boston, so we can interview him, or he can interview, and we can give more contributes to this. Um, functions of Western Kenya. Thank you very much, Mr. Alex. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, we, if you invite us to Boston, we'll be